Hi, welcome to another video in my series on matrix transformations. In this video, we're going to look at compiling the matrix which represents a reflection in the y axis. In other words, if we took a shape, say like this triangle ABC, and reflected it in the y axis, then where's it going to go to? Well, it's going to have its image over here. Now when it comes to reflecting any shape in the y-axis, all that we've got to do to find out what that transformation matrix is, is, as I've said if you've been watching previous tutorials in this series, is that we consider what is called the unit base vectors. They are the vectors on the x-axis, the positive x-axis, it's 1, 0, and we consider the other unit base vector in the positive sense on the y-axis, 0, 1. And we look at where these two vectors respectively go under the transformation that we're considering. So when we take the base vector 1, 0, where would that go if we were to reflect it in the y-axis? Well it would go out to the left here and that vector would now be the vector minus 1, 0. And where does this vector go? Well, it just stays on the y-axis. It's invariant. So 0, 1 moves to 0, 1, if you like. And so when it comes to compiling the transformation matrix, all we do is we consider, in turn, starting with this vector here, where did this one go to? Well, it went to minus 1, 0. We put that down first. And then what happened to this vector? Well, it stayed in exactly the same position. So we just write that down then as 0, 1. And we complete the matrix. So this transformation matrix should represent a reflection in the y-axis for any shape. So if I was to check it out with the triangle that I've got here, and you could try this out for any shape, but if we take that example, we take the matrix minus 1, 0, our transformation matrix, 0, 1, multiply it by a matrix for the shape, ABC, and we do that by taking the position vectors of A, B, and C in turn. That is the vector from the origin to the vertex. So O to A is 2, 1. When it comes to B, O to B is 2, 3. And for C, O to C is 3, 1. So that's our matrix which defines our shape. Now we multiply the matrices together. And if you're unsure about matrix multiplication, just go on my website. There's a tutorial on there for matrix multiplication. But on the assumption that you're happy with matrix multiplication, rows by columns, we take the top row, multiply it by 2, 1, 2, 3, and then 3, 1. And then we'll go on to do 0, 1 times 2, 1, 2, 3, and 3, 1. If you do that multiplication, though, all that happens is that you get the top row here with a negative sign in front of them. It negates them. So you get minus 2, minus 2, and minus 3. As for the bottom row, you get when you do the bottom row here times each of these columns, the numbers in the bottom row here remain exactly the same. So 1, 3, 1. And when you look at these points, the point A at 2, 1 moves to minus 2, 1. So here's A at 2, 1, and it gets reflected to the point minus 2, 1. And if you check out B at 2, 3, it moves to minus 2, 3. B at 2, 3 moves to minus 2, 3. And similarly for C at 3, 1, it moves to minus 3, 1. C at 3, 1 goes to minus 3, 1. So you can see that this does work. And I'd encourage you to try other shapes. Try other shapes, other positions, Compile the matrix for the shape, try your transformation matrix with it, get your image matrix, check that it represents a reflection in the y-axis. Alright, so as I've said before in many of the tutorials in this series, 
any of these transformation matrices are so easily made up just by considering the unit base vectors and applying their movement with the transformation that you've got up here. Your results form your transformation matrix. Okay? Now, there's others in this series, if you haven't seen them already, that is rotations, more reflections like reflection in the x axis, enlargement, stretches. Okay? So if you're unsure about any of those, best place to find these videos is on my website rather than my YouTube channel. All right.